The Cells at Work anime series returns with another episode which shows us the cataclysmic event that is a scrape wound. Oh my god, if you guys are not watching Cells at Work, you are totally missing out on what might be one of the most fun anime experiences ever, and also one of the most educational things that I have ever seen. I would have killed to have watched this anime season back in biology in high school. It truly would have been a very fun experience. But what I especially loved about this episode, again, was just how much it actually upped the action ante, not to mention the introduction of more evil germs for the white blood cells to kill an extreme bloody prejudice. This was also another great reintroduction to the main characters of Red Blood Cell and White Blood Cell, and it is officially confirmed something that I was talking about in the first episode are all of these cells, do they have lives outside of work? No, they work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, non-stop. No vacations for these guys. They are completely dedicated to their job. But they all still manage to have a lot of anthropomorphic qualities that truly make them relatable and fun and frankly even at times just plain badass. Also, I just love that this series has fun with its entire concept. It knows what it is, and it totally has fun with anime tropes. I mean, for God's sake, one of the germs in this episode actually is based on the typical Japanese anime noblewoman. You know what I'm talking about. The girls who are super rich and have that stupid... <laughs> They actually do that in this episode, and it is so funny in the best way possible. But what I really love about this episode is how they take a seemingly minor event that happens almost every single day in people's lives, and they transform it into this massive catastrophic event. This episode is all what happens to the body when you get a scrape wound, when a scab is formed, and the resulting germs that go into the body, how they're destroyed, and what these cells actually do to fix that wound. And they manage to stretch it into 20 minutes of amazingness. So as I said, this entire episode is what happens when someone gets a scrape on their body. And in this episode, it's uh, personified as a massive hole just opening up in the earth, swallowing everything into it and just turning it into a black hole of an abyss. All the red blood cells start flying in, including the main one of the series. But luckily, she is saved at the last second by the white blood cell. They know that some damage has been done to the body and it will be repaired. But in the meantime, they have to look out because now that there is a wound, all of these germs are going to start invading the body body, and yes, they do. And they all look freaking insane and creepy in the best ways possible. They, they kind of remind me of like a mixture of some of the monsters from Monsters Incorporated and the ghosts from Ghostbusters. And these things have to be busted, and the white blood cells are going to be the one to do it, and that's when the action ensues. For a show that's surprisingly educational and almost seems like it could be devoted to a much younger fan base, they do not shy back on the intense action or even the violence. I do think it's a little funny that these viruses actually bleed, but it still adds a lot of intensity to a lot of these action scenes, and it's really awesome watching these white blood cells at work. One, because it's just really cool looking, and two, it's hilarious because of how serious they actually take their job. They just love killing things. Most of the episode is dedicated to red blood cell desperately trying to get the other blood cells out and get them away from all of this damage, which is all again a personification for the fact that when a wound happens on the body, the blood vessels start to constrict, thus cutting off all of the blood flow. The white blood cells, however, are stuck having to do all of the work and fight against all of these monstrous germs which have plans to take over the body, multiply, and ultimately just infect everything. But it's funny because this entire episode comes to a close not with the red and white blood cell or even the killer T cells coming in to save the day. It's actually the cute, tiny little platelets who actually end up being the heroes this time. This was subtly hinted at at the beginning of the episode in a scene which honestly had me laughing my ass off. What's really great about the platelets is one, they're personified as children, and two, everyone just thinks they're the cutest damn things in the world, and it's kind of hard to ignore it with seeing how hard they work and how goofy they are. There's a scene where they're carrying all of this cargo down a set of stairs, which looks 
absolutely massive to the children. And it's a really tense situation watching them actually go down these steps. But when they finally make it to the bottom, you get to see that it's only like eight steps total. It's a tiny little staircase, but they turn that into one of the most intense moments. But the platelets themselves are responsible for actually patching up wounds, for blood clotting. Whenever there is a wound on the body, they all come together and they cover it with this giant film, which is able to separate germs from coming in and filtering them out. So yeah, as I was saying, the platelets actually end up being the hero of this episode right here. It's pretty fascinating, it's very funny, and it's a really nice plot twist on the entire episode. What I especially love is how it almost seems like every single time the series is going to go really outlandish in terms of the story that it's actually trying to tell, at the end of the day it grounds itself in its realism and its science. You have to realize that these are all actually normal functions which are going on in your body every single day. It's just the way that it's actually personified and shown in the series, which truly makes it fascinating and a lot of fun. It's educational, it's action-packed, it sells at work, and you have got to check out this anime series. So what's the rundown on the second episode of Cells at Work? I really loved this episode right here, almost more than the first episode of the series. It certainly upped the action quotient quite a bit while watching the white blood cells fight against all of these germs, which have a ton of just really, really fun designs, which truly make them monstrous. And I love that they take the time to break each one of them down to show how destructive they are and what they can actually do to the body. It really shows why all of these normal, everyday functions of your very own body are so important to actually taking care of you. But again, this was also another one of those episodes where you don't judge a book by its cover. While the platelets are adorkable in every single way possible and incredibly clumsy, they're wholly responsible for actually saving the day in this episode. No matter how small, they are very important to the actual functions of your body and healing it. I especially loved the final scene too because it makes sense because a lot of blood does have to come together and fill in these gaps in order to actually heal a wound and it looks like all these red and white blood cells are going to be stuck to each other for upwards of three days while everything heals. So this is going to be a really great opportunity for red and white blood cell to get to know one another. But really that's not the entire point of this series. This isn't a show which I believe is going to be too much about character development. Despite the fact that little by little it shows that red blood cell is becoming wholly independent, the simple fact of the matter is it is a little strange that this red blood cell is actually gaining a real sentient personality. But ultimately, I still think that at the end of the day, this entire series is going to be about the education of the human body and how it's personified in a really crazy anime way. And that's definitely a reason why you have to check out this episode. It's action-packed, it's crazy, it's educational, it's also, also adorable thanks to the platelets. It sells at work, and I honestly think it's going to be one of the biggest hits of the year, and you definitely need to check it out if you're a fan of anime. So there it is. That's my thoughts on this episode. I'm going to give this one right here another 5 out of 5. Another super inventive and very fun episode of the series. I'd love to hear from you guys, though. Tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Are you enjoying this series thus far? What do you hope to see from the rest of this franchise? What do you hope to learn? And what do you hope for the future of Cells at Work? Let's start a discussion in the comments section. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, stay down there, baby.